Hi, Missy Yost here with the Yost Group and welcome to another edition of Margaritaville Monday. I do these videos once a week to keep you informed about what's going on in the Margaritaville community. I also will cover things outside of the community, so there are things that will be relevant even if you are not a Margaritaville resident. I try to keep people informed uh, so that you understand the area, the community, and answer your most frequent questions that come in to me. So if you do have questions that I don't cover, make sure you drop them below or send me an email, text, and I will cover them on a future edition. Also make sure that you do subscribe to the channel so that you are notified every single time I do a new video. Uh, today, I am going to cover the spring storms that we have been having because we've been having some tornado warnings and watches so I'm going to go over what the difference is between the warning and the watch because I think that that gets very confusing to people. Um, jumping back in future episodes I'm also going to have an inspector talk to us about some of the most frequent findings in Margaritaville or even in the general area with new construction and why it's important to have that inspection as you're building. Today I am also going to go ahead and cover where we are currently with construction and remember that today is April 11th so what I say today may not be relevant next week but it is relevant as of today. I'm going to update you on the traffic light and where we are with that and I'm also going to go over the stages of the build when you need to be in town and when you don't need to be in town because I have had a lot of questions on that as of late too so let's jump in. All right, first I'm gonna go ahead and cover where we are with building. We are finishing up all of the, um, the contracts for phase five, which means that we're getting ready to go into phase four. So if you do watch those maps and you see the green dots and show that there's properties still available, that property is under reservation. So somebody has actually claimed that property, but they haven't been through the whole contract procedure yet. So it will still show green on that map. They will not turn that red until they can do what they call claim it, which means that the contract has been signed and the deposits have been paid. Okay, I have a lot of people ask me when I am building, when do I need to be in town and when is it okay not to be in town? Um, first of all, for the most part, you can do your lot reservation, your contract, your A options, which is your structural options, your property report, and your deposit all from out of town. There are a few exceptions if you are in one of the seven states that has special rules, but your salesperson at Margaritaville will explain to you if you are in one of those states, and you probably already know if you're in one of those states. So what, what we'll do is, we'll do everything via um, usually just a phone call. We'll, we'll go over all of your options and um, give you a few chances to, to go over everything so that you're sure you've got exactly what you want on the structural options. We'll answer questions regarding the property report, the contract and how to wire money in for your deposit. So all of that can actually be handled from out of town. You do not need to be in town to do any of that. When you will need to be in town is when you have your design options scheduled. You're going to want to be present for your design options because that's the time that you can see, touch, and really understand what you're choosing as your finishes on the house. So um, it's usually you come in for, for a day, the whole thing takes you know four, four hours, five hours, and then you're done. So then you, you head on back. And the next step, step is going to be your meet the builder meeting. Your meet the builder meeting is when your property is ready to begin construction. And your builder will call you or you can come in, but usually this one is also done via telephone or um, you know, some, some means with you not being in town. And you're gonna get an introduction from the builder. He's gonna go over everything that you've chose on your A options. Um, make sure that all of your electrical is in the locations that you wanted it to be and just kind of go over the next steps and what you should expect. Sometimes at your Meet the Builder meeting, they do a um, how we build, which would be where they might take you into that 
room that I've showed, showed in the past that shows the different stages of construction and the materials and how the, the homes are put together. So sometimes they will go there and do it. Sometimes they do it up in the office. All of the builders do it different. You will be assigned your own superintendent and that superintendent will be the one that communicates with you weekly at that point on what is going on with your build. Once you get to the pre-drywall stage, which is when you've got all of your, um, it's ready for installation and it's ready for drywall, at that point, you're going to want to be into town. You're going to want to walk that. Um, sometimes it's hard to be in town for that one and I do highly recommend that you do have an inspector that is at least doing a pre-drywall inspection for you because that inspector will be your eyes and ears at that point. You want to make sure that you understand where everything is behind the wall. It comes in handy later when you get ready to hang a television or something like that. You've got the, the stud markings, you, you know, you've got photographs that show where those things are so that can come in very handy. So I do, I do advise people to come in for that pre-drywall phase. Now after that, it's gonna be the finishes on the house. So you won't need to come back into town until it's time for the final walkthrough. Final walkthrough takes place about a week prior to closing. I highly recommend that you're here at, at, at that point to um, make sure that everything is on the punch list that you want on the punch list, you know, things that may have been, been missed along the way. Um, also, you will have a final inspection at that point, uh, or you should have at least a final inspection at that point where the inspector comes back out and makes sure that everything is correct for your closing and your move in. And then the final thing is going to be your closing and your new home celebration is what uh, Margaritaville calls it. Um, once you get done with, with all of that, a lot of people do have an 11 month um, inspection because it's gonna go to the warranty department after you close. So at your 11 a month inspection, you should have something done to where you could submit things that would still be covered under warranty, but the builder would still be responsible to cover at that point. So that's kind of a general overview of how the build goes and when you need to be in town and not in town. So basically, your uh, design appointment you want to be in town, your pre-drywall, and your final. You've got to be, in, in my opinion, you've got to be in town for those things. So other than that, it can be done remotely. Okay, briefly, I want to go over what the difference is between a um, tornado watch and a tornado warning because we have had a lot of tornado watches and warnings the last few days and they're not really that common in this area. So I think a lot of people get confused. A tornado watch means that conditions are favorable. There is not a spotted tornado. It just means that it's favorable. Or tornado warning means that there is a tornado that is at least Doppler indicated in the area and that you should take cover. So that's the difference between the watch and the warning. A watch means that there might be, a warning means there probably is or there is. So make sure you understand the difference and then just watch your, your local coverage and do what they advise you to do for your area. Lastly, I just wanna do a little bit of an update on the traffic light. I think it's probably gonna be operational in the next week or two. They do have the poles up, they have the lights up where they're, they're covered, they just need to hook it all up. So that's exciting. Once this gets done, we should be able to travel back and forth from Margaritaville to Hilton Head Lakes with golf courts, with golf carts, which means that that's gonna open you up to a whole new world of golf if you're a golfer. So um, once again, I am Missy Yost with the Yost Group. Let me know if you have any questions on anything I said, drop below. If you have questions you'd like for me to cover on a future, uh, a future edition of this, and make sure you subscribe so that you're notified every time we do a new video. Until next time, bye-bye.